you have people out there who are watching you, and you have so many people out there who want to see you fail, failure is never an option for me. At a very young age, I knew there was something about that little orange ball. For me, there was just a sense of peace, of strength, of comfort anytime I had a basketball. What basketball did for me was just, just showed me who I could be. It helped my self-confidence. Just me believing in myself. I just always had goals and, and dreams for myself growing up and playing in the 96 Olympics was one of those. And I have to be honest to say it wasn't an easy road, it wasn't an easy journey. I had tried out for some previous USA basketball teams, got cut just, you know, for whatever reason, wasn't good enough, the talent around me was better, but I was determined that in 96 I was going to play in the Olympics. When the WNBA first started in 97, and I found out I was pregnant. I had this guilt of, I am leaving my son to go to work. I dealt with that guilt, I can't tell you how long. And it's something I never even talked about with anybody, which means I won't be able to play in the first season. What's everybody gonna think? What's the WNBA gonna think? What are the fans gonna think? What are my teammates gonna think? Like, I immediately felt like I was letting everybody down. I quickly turned that into, all right, so I gotta have my son, then I gotta do everything in my power to make sure I can get back out on the court. But I also wanted to be that person that could show every single woman out there, like, we're pretty bad. Like, we are bad women. Like, we can do whatever it is we set our minds to do. In this picture, I remember I was pregnant and I asked him if I could name my son after him. And he actually put his hand on my stomach and said the only way you can name him after you is if he has a good jump shot. And I remember saying to him, I think I might be saying that right here, but I remember saying to him, he's gonna have a better jump shot than you ever had. Michael played a very significant part in just just me being confident in being a baller, but also being able to be a mom and getting his blessing to name my son Jordan after him. This picture will always be um, special to me. When you talk about being the first player to do a lot of things, but when you talk about the first woman to have a signature basketball shoe, it's like, it's, it's so surreal. Never. Did I say someday I'm going to have a signature shoe of my own? My mom was, she was just always my supporter. You know, she was always the one that when someone told me I couldn't do something, like I always knew my mom was going to be in my corner. And so when you talk, there's so many great memories that I have when you talk about sports, but the one that really sticks out to me is, the Hall of Fame. When I got inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame, um, my mom passed away from colon cancer. And I remember her doctor said to her, you won't be able to make the trip to go to the Hall of Fame. And that's where I get my stubbornness from and <laughs> my competitiveness from, because my mom actually said, watch me. That moment's gonna always be special to me because she was there in the beginning, she was there in the end. And um, she was my biggest fan, my biggest fan, my biggest critic. Right before COVID hit, um, my husband and I talked about just wanting to move and start growing our own food. And it's actually part of my nonprofit which is back to our roots. And we wanted to be able to, one, feed ourselves and feed our families, but also teach all of our African-American kids the importance of sustainability, the importance of teaching them how to grow your own food so you know what's going into your food, which will allow you to eat healthier, to live a better lifestyle, and also the other part of it is being able to take um, 
some of our African-American youth back to Africa and teach them about our heritage and where we come from. But also for me, it's, it's a, a place of, of comfort. It's a place of peace. And whenever I come out here, I just feel like I'm, I'm making a difference. Whether that's for other people or for my family, I think about all of the other little girls out there who now can have those dreams and goals to say, I want to be the next, because they will be the next. Yeah, I like the fit. I like it. It's pretty dope. It's pretty cool. You know, it's so, uh, never mind. I'll no, talk about it. No, go ahead, rolling. That was good. No, like it's, and I didn't intentionally do this. Like Michael Jordan is one of my idols and role model. It's so funny that in this picture, I have my tongue out. It's not, a, it's not an MJ like, but you know, I just noticed that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dope.